Sand drawn, got a couple of crab, got a hockey, and um, some choca. We're going to spend the day looking for some cob, and if we're lucky, maybe a white steam brass, a white catch, maybe a cracker, maybe a saloon. No, just a lucky day, working all the banks, fishing for some edible fish. This swell slightly up today than what, what we expected. We, we thought it was going to be a bit flatter than what it is, but it still looks good. We had a, quite a strong southeast yesterday and they're predicting a north wind today. And north wind usually flattens the sea out really nice. And um, the north hasn't started to blow yet, so it's, it's still a bit hot. But it, the banks are working very, very, very nice. Um, nice rolling water. The water conditions does not look too bad. And I think as the day progresses, the swell is going to definitely flat out. And um, so the sea is only going to get better and better. No, we found a nice working bank here. Um, with the tide pushing, the bank's only going to get better and better as it, as it gets deeper. So I reckon we're going to catch some fish. First throw of the morning, I went with the small 4.0 BKK inline and uh, just a bundle of green sand corn. And um, I can catch a Belmont on it, I can catch a cob, I can catch a skinny. And um, yes, guys, one thing I can tell you is throwing with this little horizon medium is such a pleasure, it's just a little flick. And it just shoots that sinker all the way to the back. It's absolutely lovely rod. Really enjoy it. You need to catch a proper fish on it. I'm a bit more into that. No, I really look like it. It's really like it. Well, there's AJ on. He's gonna run to him and check what's up. I think it's on a, on a crab, so it might be a steeny or a cracker. Crab! Huh? Huh? Uh. Okay, it's on an hockey leg, yeah? It might be a cobby. Is it? Oh, definitely a cobby. Check out checks. Let's go and have a look-see. There we go. First fish of the day. <laughs> like a cobby. Moy. Starting out good with the pushing tide. Gonna hope for a couple of more. Let's go back. Boy. Off 
he goes. Like a shot. Like at the start of the day, like that. Yeah, boy, always. Yeah, there we go. AJ got his the first copy of the day. I'm sure there's going to be more of them. But, uh, yo, let's get some fish, man. Sight it! It's lekker! <laughs> the paddle tail. Looks so blooming lekker. Perfect. This. That thing on the paddle tail. I couldn't believe it. I thought it's going to be on. But I think I'm going to put a crab out on my one rod and then just take it in the sand spike and then see what I can't catch on, on a smaller rod or uh, one prawn bait out and one uh, crab out. Let's, let's just hope for a fish. It's really like it. There must be something to that. Yeah. Boy. After that coffee, that bonsai coffee that I caught, um, still putting a bait on, and I just taking his jacket off. And yeah, the rod went in the sand spike. Seems like he's into another coffee. good condition but we need to find some bigger cob or a like a stiene come on man I just having some success on that hockey legs um, two cob already big fish but like a like a and, uh, I'm pushing cut out for a stiene maybe a cracker I've got a lot of rocks on the surf, we might get back in the world. So I'm sticking to the crab and to the prawn bait. And one throw of the choka and then I got a really bonsai probably. I'll give it another hour or so. Should be a skinny or cracker. And then I might switch it up and maybe fish for a cob. Here's one. I just on again. <laughs> I think I should stop fishing for the Stiani and start fishing for a cob as well. Oh. It's better. Number three. Yeah. Okay. Better size. Yeah. It's a better size fish. The marks looks like another big cop chowder. See the. Oh, there's some markings on it. Yeah. See the teeth. Okay, like it. I think I should catch one as well. Wait. <laughs> It 
it's gone quiet a bit and this bank that we fished the whole day um, starting to look really lacquer for a, a big cob so I'm gonna make like a biggish type of chocker bait and see if you can't manage to get a get a big cob um, so I thought I'll show you guys how I do it and how I prepare it in my videos you guys have seen me use the soft tangles and how I make them if not, um, have a look at my channel, there is a video on how to make these thing on angles. Um, well, I'll add the link into the description. And then this is just a piece of high density foam. Guys, I was just finished showing you guys that bait and um, I had to run to AJ because he's on and it looks like a much better size fish yes I want to fish for a chance I'm just filming the older don't have any time to fish my cabra you must have said you're going to fish here I may have drop is it Dus dan moet je je boek omzetten. Dat is een hard ding, man. Dat is een skutter eigenlijk. Ja, vandaag heb ik het gezien in skutter. Seems like AJ is into a really good cold here. You can see his drag is not too tight. And he's fighting the fish with a fairly with his rod fairly high. It's um, with the braid and you'll see the cob shake. And um, they often shake the hook when they shake like that. So you need to keep your rod fairly high to um, for that cob to oh, for the cob's head shakes to be absorbed by the rod. Because the, the braid doesn't have any stretch. And as you can see, his drag is, is also quite soft. And um, you don't want to take any chances when playing a fish like this. And you know, especially with cob. When it shakes his head and then when, he, when he wants to go, it needs to go. It needs to take that centimeter, two centimeters, and you know, 10 centimeters at a time. And um, I can start. Yeah, so. But guys, I, I think this is a really good cob. So, let's hope you land this one. Level four, look. Wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saw from, from that video now that I showed you a bait, and um, I said I wanted to throw for a big, big cob because the, the water flattened really nice and the bank looks really good for a big cob. And as I was finished with the bait, which is for you guys, I just heard AJ screaming and he was on. So hopefully this is it. Uh, so you can see this bank. This is what we're fishing. We were just waiting for the tide to fall up on this bank. Because we... Oh, look at that shakes. There it goes. It must be a good size cop. And we're fishing there. Our tackle... Where's our tackle? Our tackle is right there. And we fish onto that bank. But um, yeah, this looks really lucky here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he bangs it well now. He's a bit cocky now, now. Like that. Yeah, he has a bit tiny from. He did a bit of cocky bangs it before. Can I get a parallel?
just ran to take my other rod out so I just fish was going towards it I grabbed the measuring tape so if you land it we can measure it you need to work back quickly get it back as soon as possible you don't want this big fish to die but first we need to land it Woo, so exciting like a <laughs> and AJ is shaking. <laughs> uh, hundreds of these fish, but this one is different. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's lacquer. Guys, this is why we fish. Absolutely lacquer. Yeah. Well, AJ needs to land this fish so that I can fish for a change. I've been filming the whole day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, guys. It's a, it's a really beautiful fish. Um, we saw it in the swell, still far out. It's a really big cod. And um, we need this fish. We need to land. So, take our time, patience. And uh, hopefully we'll get it. Go. Guys, I'm going down. The heart is racing because I'm going down to grab that fish. It's a good fish. No, it's just a matter of minutes, and um, I'm sure we're gonna get him. Oh, guys, it's a good fish. Just saw it in the wave now. It is a beauty, a slab. It's there on your left hand side. You can't see where it's at, it's either. I can't battle to see the line. No, I see it now, that's why I go like underneath it. Stubborn, eh? No. There he is, yeah. Look at this fish here. Yeah, I see it. I, yeah, I can't grab it here. He's right in front of you. It's difficult. Okay, there it is. There we, there we go. <laughs> what the cob, eh? Yeah. The lucky improvement from the previous three that I get caught. Lucky boy, Dad! Yes, Chris, lending a helping hand. <laughs> Luckily, guys, because we need to work quick with this fish. We really want to get it back. Oh, well, AJ's taking the hook out. Chris is opening the phone for a photo. I just want to film this beautiful fish. Yeah. Oh, Guys, you can see whilst AJ was busy fighting this fish, we planned carefully how we're going to release this fish as safe as possible, as quick as possible. So I had a measuring tape with me. We worked very close to the water, water's edge with the fish. Me had a quick measurement, quick photo, and never picked the fish up by the gill plate. Have a look at AJ's hand placement when he's handling this cob. His hand is around the jawbone and not in the gill plates of the fish. This is crucial when handling a big carp like this to ensure a safe release. Never pick the fish up by the gill plates for a photo or any sorts to handle the fish. Always support the fish underneath its belly 
and then work really 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 quick as possible let them might have the measuring tape ready the camera ready and get this fish back as soon as possible guys these are our breeding fish and we need to protect them Woo! <laughs> 